Hello guys, Solid Gaming here, back with another part of Dengen Ropa 2, Goodbye Spare, and let's get started. Okay, today we're gonna hang out with Shiaki. Who is it? Hmm. I don't want to spend that much energy today. I think I'd rather just sit still. I read a book or something. What should I do? Should I hang out with Shiaki? Yeah. Hey, hey. I want to read too. Let's go to the library together. I spent today reading with Shiaki. Looks like Shiaki and I grew a little closer. Yeah, sure. She wants a game. Oh, here. Hey, hey. Oh, that looks fun. <laughs> Play around with different ways of using it. Might go back to my room, thanks. She's staring off into space again as usual. Sorry. Ah, sorry, I was getting a little sleep. While you're staying impressive. Have not been sleeping well? Hmm. Hmm, when I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. That's definitely not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a dream. The other day, so I'm a little, I'm been a little scared. I had a bad dream. The other days I've been a little scared. What type of dream? Can I ask what type of what kind of dream you had? Well, it's a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Um. The statue of Jabberwock Island changed to a bald, bald old man with a thin mat mustache. Well, that's weird. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> more I think about it, more situation feels like that bizarre action game. You might eventually end up turning to sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really like games, huh, Shiaki? Hmm. Hmm, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming isn't my life. But I like it, but game gaming is my life. Maybe life is just a game. But still. Either way, that's all the more reasons why killing should be allowed. It's not a game for not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you're not if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to be, have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. Ha, ah, as expected, the ultimate gamer. I would probably give up on a game like that. Um. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm really not good at. I see, what is it? I won't tell you, why? I see. Because you have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Shiaki. I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Shock your support cards been updated based on your appearance for her. I parted ways with Shocky and went back to my room. It looks like it's almost time to meet with meet up with Kazuichi. Told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but he's blind too. No, there's no way someone as carefree as Sam would do something like that. Huh? 
Ah, uh, where is he? It's well past the range time. There's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I've been keeping inside me began swelling up like a balloon till... Yo! There you are. Wow. Whoa! Whoa. Hey! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get. Totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy just mind showing up late. Even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey! Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? What little favor? A little favor? Ah. I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonya's idea. For a change of pace. It looks, it looks like the girls are secretly playing to go splash around at the beach. So? Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you. <laughs> I expected of Miss Sonya. Splashing around the sea is a nice idea. Oh, he's such a pervert. <gasps> I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much, it's about to burn out. <laughs> so let's crash together. Why me? Hey, hey! Well, it's weird to fake coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach, and then we run to, into the girls by coincidence? That's still pretty odd. Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me out. Help me with this. Man. Nekomaru can't keep his mouth shut. Save his life. And Gunham as well. Gunham. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey! I, mean, I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. Now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act. You're snapping at me. <laughs> if you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you, until you die. Fine, I'll help you. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi after all. If I have no choice, then fine. <laughs> Yahoo, that's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. You're not my soul brother. So what do I have to do? Well... Well, based on what I overheard... It looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on a second island. Alright! That's why I gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. I'm gonna act like it's just coincidence. Guys, so I need to go to die first. Engines revving! Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now. Well, that makes one of us. I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. Let's give the pet presents. Here. <laughs> All right, ladies aren't here yet. Let's hurry up and go inside.
<laughs> All right, we're here. Now you just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Isn't that kind of creepy? Is he sure about this plan? I mean, is this a little too stalkerish? Yeah. And where are they gonna come? The chapter over here, that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around 4 p.m. Two, we have to wait two hours? Oh, one hour. Okay, it's 3 p.m. right now, so we have to wait one hour, one more hour? <laughs> Always make the move early. That's just the basics, you know. Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey! It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'll be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sony on her way to the beach, you know. It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engines revving! You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If it's if this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Sitting at a table by the window, I rest my chin in my hands, and absent mindedly stared out the window. <gasps> Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes pass, and then 30 minutes. Are they even gonna come? As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volumes of my size and the weight of my regrets. <laughs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about, how about a bikini? Is it normal for everyone to wear a bikini? I mean, the girls to wear a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fancy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? If I want to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Well, look at his eyes. Wait, now. Uh, that's what happened. In the corner of my eye, certainly someone walked by in front of the diner. Huh? Hey, isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess... I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry. We ran to where that person was standing. Who is it? Oh, what? there you are. There you are. I was trying to find you in, in the last part. I couldn't find you anywhere. I want to hang out with you, but you bastards. I knew it was you, Fuyu Hiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line. Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? You... Who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Was he trying to catch girls in her swimsuits too? Huh? Don't tell me, oh man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and follow us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh my my! That's a strange combo. <laughs> Hello! Hello, um, today's another wonderful, another wonderful day. Um, well, You are done for! Not gonna get away now that I caught you. <laughs> wow, I got so nervous I ended up blurring out something weird. Wait, what was that? Why is she act so different just that just then? Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you like. Well Uh um you too, this is such a coincidence. I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. That is really suspicious to say, you know. He really does suck at this, yup. Well Man actually Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my how uh, could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. suspicious. Her eyes are moving around like s salmon before you lay eggs. Well... No way, I'm always like this. How should I put it? 
I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from, the, from that embarrassing sight, I realized, realized that he had disappeared. How oh, where did Fuhiko go? Well... Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30pm. Still have about 30 minutes until you have to meet the others. Um... Shouldn't have said that! Um, why did... Why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn meeting time. Hmm. Well, you see? For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us here together. Is it okay if we join in too? Wow, I got forceful all of a sudden. Ah. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Aren't you? Well... I really have no desire to do something so rude. I declined the offer at all. But Sonya was the one that planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course! It's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline. I so I just won I so I just won't think it. Is he being optimistic? Optimistic or a pessimistic? I don't really get it. Hey! Hey! Hey hey! Is all is it alright if we go inside now? Yubuki was gonna eat a, a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Fuyuhiko. Oh well, I'll come this far. I can't turn back now. <laughs> I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Whoa. So I think I couldn't help laying out a big sigh. <laughs> Oh, what are you guys gonna do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know. Um. Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform? It's in pain. It's actually a swimsuit. Of course. Well, it's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit too. Really? Why? <laughs> really? Ah. Uh. Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? They gotta go to the bathroom so I can change. Here you go, it's yours. What is this thing? <laughs> uh, maybe rude of me to say this, but... <gasps> that's, that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, Ian, it's worse. Won't turn into a live action drama. Is this breaking the fourth wall? That's not the problem. Hey! What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It's matching, then. Don't, don't definitely don't want to match. Wear it. Oh! I gotta believe flying is bad, so let's stop. Peeking! Peeking! Things are heating up so fierce. When's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. Now she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh! Huh, what is it? Come look outside, outside. What's outside? Isn't that Kyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Did a murder happen? Spark questions. Yuko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us. But wasn't she part of the beach crew? Well... Apparently she can't swim, so she turns down. Hmm. But she... Didn't she just come running from the beach? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, this means women. Well, this means women are full of surprises. Aww. My hero's a total. My the type to totally come, but she totally. She surprisingly turns down too. 
Mario, she did. She turned down. So I expected her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Um... I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Oh, Mahiro's dead! Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away, and from a beach and crying, something that's, that's, something's definitely wrong. Hey! Whoa! Why did you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and, and what he was looking at was near dying diner entrance. They turn around. Whoa! My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. I'm gonna keep myself from staring like an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Hmm, should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. Ah! <sighs> Whoa, control yourself. But how should I say this? Is this what Gat Moe is supposed to be? If someone's normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, um, I don't know. That's why I said, but my, but my heartbeat is actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Shaki to have such big jugs. What happened? Jugs? Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a real, he's a pervert, you know. No, no, it's you. What are you saying? <gasps> I mean, I only, I only advise for Miss Sonia. I dream of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Hmm. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it. No, you do. Huh? Well, no, I mean, I guess you look good. Thanks. Now I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> wearing a, a bikini is sure daring. And you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart is not just thumping. It's thumping all sporadically. Like a dump. From dump. Dump. A dump. It's probably a hard task. Yo! And I kept you waiting. We're a voice at the diner door. Suddenly, op slowly open, and the person who walked through it was. Whoa, nice. Wait, what? Why is she covered in blood? Uh, hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Ah! Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. You're bleeding. Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Uh, oh! You're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why'd you have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. <laughs> anyway, you need to be treated. And you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusual, forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the back room. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? All right! Oh, who is it this time? Oh, nice. Hmm? Hajiman, Kazuichi, why are you two here? She looks really nice in that bikini. Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? 
I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Hey, Ajime. Hmm, what? Awesome! A woman with slick, with wet slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Oh my my! It's by too, man. Yeah, it's showing off a lot. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> anyway, looks like everyone, every, everyone is almost here. And it's already past 4 p.m. If so, that's all that's left is. Uh, I am terribly sorry for my delay. Ah! It's Sonya's here. Double down on excitement. <gasps> Alright, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? What? Ah! It's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. He is so disappointed. However, disappointed. as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. I didn't even know there is a... I know about wet wetsuit to today. Wetsuit? So that's a wetsuit. Really? It is... my bad. Oh my! I see a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I expect from a 100% purebred princess. This guy is quick to recover. Um. Um, anyway, why are you two here? Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest. If we're gonna go to the beach. Please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this originally was supposed to, well, this was originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <laughs> Do you think you can make an exception pretty please? Um Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then You're right. Came all the way here. It'll be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> oh, Miss Sonya is so kind. Alright! Alright, now that's decided, let's get going. But kind's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving! I mean, I promise it. I promise I'll give my all. Give my all. Serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, you boast out of the diner. Um... I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. No, it's pretty nice. I should go help Kazuichi too. No! Why are you being so shy about the, around them? As my own my excuse, I ran out of the diner. Almost as if I were, I, almost as if I were escaping. My hero's gonna be dead. We're gonna see your dead body. Yup. Huh? That bell is now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! I knew it. A body? It's a lie impossible. S someone, someone come here! Yeah, that's definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. Sounds like he's nearby.
Where are you? No one might be nervous about. So it's for me to be nervous. By a scary announcement, I won't believe it. I mean, you already saw someone get killed before. I'm not gonna believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? To raise my voice, I swiftly step inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I step inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shatter to pieces. Oh no. Oh, a bat! Oh wow, that's gotta hurt. This was all a dream. When did I begin? When did I begin, dre begin dreaming? Wait, there's a lot of blood around, and, the, and the, the girl we just saw earlier had a lot of blood on her. Is she the killer? She said she was fighting with someone, but she could be lying. Uh, lying. That girl earlier just had blood on her. If this is reality, why is Mahiro on the, on the floor? Covered in blood. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. I couldn't believe in anything. <sighs> My hero, Koi Izumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an, an unyielding force of personality. But she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Towards us and towards herself. She was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why my hero? Why? Why is happening to her? Muscles in my face stiffen and grow hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Yajime, before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. I mean, you know what this island is about. It's all about despair. There's no having fun here. Only despair here. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I honestly don't know what's going on either. Oh! Huh? Um. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now it's time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. Must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numb. My emotions were also numb. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses also started to return. Around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? She was covered in blood. Very suspicious. She was covered in blood earlier. <coughs> Why Mahiro? The girls were staying outside the door, leading to the beach. Their faces pale with terror. Something like this! Oh, for heaven's sake, what, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Hold it! Ah, uh, hold a second. Hold on a second. Hmm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know all the footprints in front of the door in front of that door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, 
We'll hold class trial. What the? Another class trial? You serious? Then are you saying this is? That's right. That's right. One of you guys killed her. Oh, lies. Kill. That's impossible. Hey, hey. It's not like an accident or something. Like. If you guys think that's that, if you guys think that's an accident. That still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words, that also counts as a legitimate murder. It's not an accident. Someone bashed her in with a bat. Though such deaths fall into a gray area. On this island, I'll make it clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered murder. <laughs> Well, it's possible to get sick and die and die on this island. Not why Mommy takes takes take such good care of people. What's this? Oh, speaking of which, I don't like this. There it is. Silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. <laughs> well, fine. I'm not gonna lose your bashing. I decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim. It's all because of Monokuma. No way! Gee, it's not my fault. Oh, uh, then whose fault? Then, then whose fault is it? Yes. Yahoo! Find out. We hold the class trial. So. So let's begin already. No wine. Just begin already. It's the Monokuma file. Okay. I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start feeling. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, do your best to investigate. I shall see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial investigation. Poor Monmi. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. She really cares about them. Hey! And you should have stopped murder before it occurred. I mean, she can't be everywhere. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> That he did have the power before he arrived. Perhaps. Even if you try to stop it. Judging from Monokuma, Monokuma's relationship, there's no doubt she can stop herself. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the, and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on. Or these ears. But they can only hear about three times that of normal person. So basically. You have no idea what's going what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> Sob, I'm just the worst. Powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that like that. More importantly, what should we do? What should we do? <laughs> hey, do we have to do it again? We have to. That cruel thing we have to do it again? Why? Can't believe it. My role is killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same. But we can't do anything else except do it. We can't do anything else except do it. And... There's no way we can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. Because we should never forgive that. Killing something we should never forgive. Shocky. Well? Killer has her reasons. I understand that. It's the same for Terra Terra too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. But even so. Killing. We should never I'll forgive. never allow it. We should never forgive killing. She usually has her head in the clouds. So for her to say something like that. She probably can't forgive this at all. That's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone's gonna die if we don't do it. In order for us to, in order for all of us to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it. Now let's do this. Perhaps. My hero probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll do it too. But, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, go and tell the others who aren't here yet about this. 
You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you wouldn't you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Now let's begin. Who killed Myro, Kai, Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> you gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. That's, that's the only way. I don't wanna do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only I'm the only one who can do this, really. You're the only one. First I take a look at the Ma Makuma file. The victim is Mairo Koizumi. Estimate time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler's Beach. The cause of death is a single, killing blow to the head with blunt instru instrument. There are no other conspicuous eternal injuries, no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Katsuichi and I arrive, arrived at the diner. Then if we had just gone to the beach house instead. I mean, you couldn't have, you couldn't have known. Why would you? I mean, Kazuichi even said, don't go, just go to the uh, diner, not to the beach house. Why would you go to the beach house? No, now is not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. Then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna find out the truth beyond my hero's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Makuma file number two. It's an add to truth load section of your handbook. According to the Makuma file, failed blow was dealt to my role, a blunt object. That blunt object, it smelled bad, right? How does it smell bad? Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. That's weird. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. But how do you know this? Did you, did you play the game? Um... That girl was killed with a blow from a male bat, just like Mario. Hey, hey! Did you, did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that male bat? bat? Yeah, exactly it, but... Did you play it too? You did. Then I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mario's death, probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even, even if you solved the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, start ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Beat it? Mm. Yeah, I'm not some gamer, girl gamer, who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? Can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that Mel Bat is absolutely Mel murder weapon, right? Mel Bat has been added to the True Blood section of your handbook. She lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is that really the energetic Mahiro knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiro. But we don't have time to no, but we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both my hands onto my cheeks and face Mahiro's body one more time. Mahiro's leaning against the beach house, the door that leads to Rowan. If she leaned, leaned on the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Myro tried to run away when she was attacked, and she tried to crawl to that door. Evans can be seen in the blood stains on the floor. They're streaked, so she crawled through them. 
So she used all her energy to crawl away, lean against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have really felt desperate. She must have felt really desperate. Monica with file number two has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth section to reveal it. To reveal it. Huh? What's this? A mask? Did the killer use a mask? Did someone bring us from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Could it be? Did the killer wear that to conceal their, conceal their face? No, it totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um. It's a gaudy mask. Huh? Ah, oh, that mask. You seen that? Sun Weed Witch Esp Esper Ito is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 9% in my country. An a anime that has a viewership of over 9% is so this country really alright? That's a lot. It cannot be. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry. Um, please give me some time. What's what, what, what's with her? For reasons for reasons unknown, Sonia rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonia to be so worked up, there must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Oh, is it a famous killer? Free anime girl mask is mad to the truth book section of her handbook. So the shower room. <laughs> oh that's right, the shower room. The shower's being repaired so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, it's, well that's impossible too. The shower is out or order. Then is isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Just want to explain to fix it. My magic stick was taken from me, so I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil. Anyway, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything's all Monokuma's fault. Who? Oh. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. <laughs> Think what you want of me. I already, I've already given up. Got it? Well, let me tell you this one more time. Uh, as long as you guys work together, she'll be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What, what help? Doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway. It looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess you should check the inside too. Shower room is mad to true blood section or handbook. This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you can also use it as a dressing room. But changing the beach house is forbidden. Geez, what an unreasonable rule. There's a window. Small but making can fall out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything someone can crawl through it. I can't seem to take my mind off it. Oh, did that girl did she go through that window? That that small girl earlier. However, the ceiling is really high. So that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand. I can't reach it. It's probably about 9 feet up. And not just that, an iron bar window. If, if that's the case, yeah, it's impossible to go in and out through there. What? Why are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through here, there. Leave it to me! Alright, I got it. I can help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggy piggyback ride. Check the window for you. I don't think I can carry you up there. It shouldn't help. 
feels like I'm the one who was pitching in and helping. I'll beat you up! Whoa! If you don't hurry up, I'll punch ya. So he's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Finally, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my paintings are clean. Okay. I see that's good. I let out a deep sigh, then bent over under under bent over under the window. Alright! As she shouted, a kind jumped onto my shoulders. Uh Hey! Your balance sucks! Make sure your stance is wider! Y you you're a lot heavier than I expected. Oh, she's not gonna like hearing that. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With Kai on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high, I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Kai jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm. Even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but even but if two people but if two people work together, like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? Oh, the two people work together? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? You don't know what accomplice is? But even if, even if there were, was an accomplice, the person acting as a step stool would, be in, would still be inside. Like? But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Oh, really? So... Yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja can do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences, walls, no problems, right? Hmm, just as, as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Why? What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You pissed me off. You're the one who, says, who was suspicious. So it took time to pitch in now. You. Said it was such a waste of time to help you out. All I saw were my panties. I didn't see the, your panties. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like that's in the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Iron barred window as mad to, to the troop book section of your handbook. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Huh. I didn't look at them. Okay, let's get out of here. Lots of doors half open. Last time I came here, that wasn't the case. So someone was waiting for my row to come. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. This pretty spacious walk-in closet. There's so much crap on the shelves, a floor. Only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means possible for only one person to stay in here. There's a lot of stuff jammed into the shelves. Even surfboards in a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed into onto one shelf. 
some boards have been left out instead of being put in the, in, in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Oh, well, there's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Find candy on the floor. A place like this is completely un it's clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they're inside the closet? Yummy, a yelly gummy. It's been added to a true book section of, of your handbook. Um, I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye inside this, in this side's closet. I saw drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to the last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweet or colored. They look unhealthy. I was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. Maybe there's clues inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... Hmm, there are only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Yeah, it's not that easy, huh? This trash can is bad to a true concessionary handbook. There's blood stains on the floor, and there's streaks if she crawled whipped through them. It's probably streaked from when Myro tried to run away during the during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away. And she took her last breath as she was leaning against that door. What is this? This is suspicious, suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You no know, footprints from earlier. They're in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? All that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are the opposite, or just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey! Now I mentioned, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. I first tried to go inside the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side of the door. I couldn't go in inside from the beach road from the roadside door, because my rose body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's why I noticed those footprints. Those footprints leading from the beach house. So the tunnel looked like they belonged one, to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house. Oh, that's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now I should mention, Beko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those swim fo footprints be... Well... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe... Is that really true? But still... But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. <sighs> Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? And whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that those are th that these are the foot killer killer's footprints. But I have no clue who that might be. Well for now it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? 
Yes, yeah, probably an extremely important clue. Footprints on the beach have been added to a true flow section of your handbook. Um, I guess I didn't finish investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that that again. Find out why my hero kill, got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill my hero. That, there's no way that's just coincidence, right? Actually, and true, if this game's theme is missing link, you know it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Missing link, if that's killer's motive for, his, for the killing this time, this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, a person who know who might not who might know about that mystery, is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Mel Bad has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth float section to review it. Hey Shocky, I have something I want to ask you. Are you sure are you okay right now? Um Are you done investigating here already? I'll have to get finished investigating once though. Yep. Once through. Then let's go. Go. So... Well, know about Twilight Syndrome, right? I think you should actually play yourself. Let's go. So let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Shiaki Lee, I left the beach house. And, and head over to Shepherdwalk Park, where that unselling arcade machine was placed. But I never... Never expect that person to be waiting there. Who? Hello there. Oh, him. How did he get free? Why, hello there. How's your Shiaki? Glad you guys are doing well. Nagito? <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you too like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well... Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, my rogue got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. Sure. She was hard of a group. Of our group. Always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark despair, hope can shine much better and much brighter and stronger. Stop talking about hope already. <laughs> yeah, I do feel bad for my hero. This is quite exciting. Exciting. How will everyone overcome the despair this time? Mm. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy. He's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about my hero? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face, I'll tell you no. Mind me. It's Mind me! Yes, it was me. You, why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um. Did I do bad? Yes, very bad. I just want everyone to get along. Ain't no cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy I say he is. That's. We're finding my friends. This is what Makuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. How should you forgive her? Mommy's making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But... But now it's not the time for a friend to fight. It's gonna be a class trial for my role, right? That's right! That's right, that's why everyone must work together. To have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already, just go away already. <laughs> Aw, poor Mommy, honestly. Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. 
Well, I am a little lonely. I guess I'll do that. I already saw a true ending of that game. So there's no reason for me to be here. True ending. Now then. So although it might be a little late, I too will do some best game. For the while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. You want to be useful too. The killer Ross. <laughs> Isn't obvious? I always be on the side of hope. He loves that word, hope. More I talk to him, creepier he gets. More I listen to him, more I don't, I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal, to deal with. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Okay, so this is where I'll be stopping off for today. Thanks for watching this part of Dango Robot 2. Goodbye, Spare. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.